Hey guys, it's Jules Wilson with the RV with Me show and we are here at the Seagrens RV showroom and let me tell you something, we are thrilled to be unveiling the new Revel by Winnebago. Now I'm here with Anthony, he's our um, regional sales manager. Regional sales manager for Winnebago and so I represent uh, the West Coast and a little bit of the Midwest but uh, I brought with me here today Russ Garfin and, and I'm very excited. It's a big thing. Russ doesn't get a chance to get out here to the West Coast very often, but he is the genius behind what we're looking at here. And so it's a new product that's a little revolutionary. A lot of us, we all work too much. We don't get enough chance to, to get out and get off the beaten path. This is an RV that's made to get you off the beaten path. And Russ is the guy who, he's an owner himself, has B-Vans, and he's been working behind the scenes with uh, with owners and people who are modifying their own coaches for a long time to really come up with this concept. Yeah. And so, yeah, Russ is our Director of Product Management in Winnebago. So Russ, why don't you take it away and give us a great job? Yeah, absolutely, love to. Thank you, Jules. Yeah, um, you know, actually, I'm not really the, the, the bridge behind this. It's, it's our customers. We get, you know, so much feedback from our owners. We're uh, very successful with our other vans. Uh, we get, I get pictures, videos, and things where people, every, every time I get one of those, the people are, somewhere where they're as far away from uh, civilization as they can get in their Travato or their era, and then they take a picture, and then they send it to me and say, look where I am, or they put it on Facebook, look where I am, and they all want to go farther and farther. So for about three years, we've been thinking about this product. We've been working on it. Uh, we even built a concept unit and took it and showed it to a lot of uh, kind of outdoor enthusiasts, people that are you know mountain biking, skiing, rock climbing, those kind of folks, and we got lots of feedback. We made a lot of changes based on that, and the result is, is what we have here is the Revel, and it's been very, very well received, and really excited to show you some of the, some of the cool things about the Revel. Um, this is the pebble gray exterior, and we also have a metallic silver exterior, but uh, both of them are, are probably equally prop, uh, popular. Probably the silver is a little bit more than this one, but this really looks cool in, in the outdoors. I like this one myself. Um, if you just kind of walk down the coach here, and I'll show you a few of the, the cool features here. Uh, the running board, it's got some, some lighting underneath. Uh, this running board actually serves uh, to protect the side of the vehicle when you're, when you're going off the road a little bit and you're going off, off, off the grid. Uh, this will allow you uh, to protect the side of the vehicle and protect uh, rocks from coming up and damaging your vehicle. This has the optional uh, tires and wheels, which are, which are pretty cool. Uh, the BF Goodrich uh, All-Terrain, and these are very popular tires uh, for getting off the road, especially made uh, to prevent rock damage and things like that. Um, around the outside, here you're gonna see a couple of the uh, cool features that we put on this. Uh, these are, we call them pods, but they basically extend the sleeping width inside there. There's not, in a typical Sprinter van, there's not enough space to sleep across the coach, so we added these pods so that a person, a uh, six foot three person could sleep comfortably in this coach, which is very unique in, in, a, sprinter, in a sprinter van and certainly uh, in this uh, size and class of product. Um, our removable uh, rugged ladder on the back here is also something that uh, we did with the kind of the off the road person in mind. Um, this allows you to get up on the roof and, and put storage pods up there for, for some more of your equipment, but the ladder is removable by turning this uh, turn screw here and you can put it anywhere you want on the side of the vehicle to, you know, when you're lashing things up to your roof rack, which is also standard on the Revel, or uh, if you just want to get up and clean your solar panels. Uh, really key to this product is what we came up with in the back here is just massive amount of storage. There's 140 uh, uh, cubic feet of storage space back here, which is second to none in a, in a product like this. We left it wide open so people can do basically what they want with it. Uh, they can they can fill it to the top with the, uh, with their bikes and and uh, whatever equipment that they want to take on, out in the outdoors, um, or um, they can just you know uh, use it for for pets and whatever. The bed goes to the roof, and uh, you know when you push the push the button inside, uh, that bed's going to come down. And I think we could have Anthony do that. You want to run that bed down, Anthony? Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. Just to show what that looks like. Here you'll see the pod, the bump out over here. Pretty cool. Nice and quiet, very sturdy. Uh, and this allows you to sleep, you know, cross coach here. Two people comfortably you can sleep there. It's a nice memory foam mattress with a uh, European slat suspension system underneath of it. So it's gonna sleep very comfortably. So after a, a, a long day of hiking, you're gonna come back and have a very comfortable bed. The coach is very well insulated. We're using an automotive grade uh, 
open cell insulation that we, we have uh, just literally hundreds of pre-cut pieces that go uh, in every nook and cranny in this coach. Uh, and they also, what's cool about them is they have, they're, they're made to be sound deadening so that your, your ride is going to be quieter and you sleep more comfortably in, in a quiet environment uh, as well as of course insulating thermally and but they, one of the unique things that they do which uh, most people don't think about when they're insulating a Sprinter van is they allow moisture to pass through. There's typically, you know, can be a lot of condensation in, in a small, small camper like this uh, and there's also, you know, places where uh, on a Sprinter van, you know, around the cladding and things like that where it's actually designed to allow water to pass through the vehicle and pass out the bottom of the panel. So having insulation that allows that to happen is kind of keeping in tune with the Sprinter design. So this is unique for our product here, very important. I talked about the insulation. That's really critical to this product because we want a product that people could use year round. So this product is set up so uh, with, the, with a minor, minor bit of, of care, you can use this in pretty near all kinds of climates where you're gonna be uh, wanting to go out in the outdoors. So take it to the mountain skiing, uh, passing, driving through the mountains, uh, all of our water lines are inside, they're, they're insulated. Our water tank is in a double insulated uh, storage tank under the, under the bay there, so, and that's heated also. Um, and we have a very unique uh, heating system that we'll talk about when we go inside for this product. But back here, again, you can just see there's, there's lots of room for storage. We've got the tie-down straps. Uh, we have an exterior shower here. This is hot and cold water with a quick connect shower, the same shower head you would use in the bathroom, but would allow you to use uh, when you're out in the desert or something to use this area uh, for, for rinsing off or showering or washing pests or whatever. Uh, that's a, a pretty big feature that, uh, that our owner said that they wanted to have in this product. Let's go around and go inside. Oops, I forgot. I wanted to show you a couple things here on the outside, on the outside first, but you know, we've set up this area so that you know, people are going to be in here to sleep and of course, if the weather's inclement, you want to cook or, or sit in there, that's fine. But a lot of times you're going to be, you want to be outside. That's why you're going there. So we have an exterior table. There's a leg inside that attaches to the bottom here and it's adjustable. So if you're in an uneven terrain, you can, you can put that table at different heights. We also have this uh, extension here for the galley countertop, which allows, you know, cooking inside, but it also provides, provides which is kind of unique can show you this real quick. You can use it outside when you're entertaining as well. So the table here, here, lots of places to put things if you're cooking or uh, serving drinks or whatever you're going to be doing out there. Nice, nice place to be in the evening. The van, the van comes with um, a full length awning and the awning has what we call a seismic sensor on it so that if the wind were to come up and the awning is out, it's going to retract the awning automatically. There's a nice LED light on the awning as well. It's packaged up out of the way. And it provides a really nice patio area. On the exterior here, we've got some connections so that you can, you can attach 110 volts that's inverted. So it works off the batteries, but if you had something you wanted to use, a cooker or something outside, you can just plug it in. There's also 12 volt connections on the outside as well. I'm gonna step inside. This is the forward uh, facing dinette seat. Uh, it seats two, there's two sets of uh, seat belts there for two people. Um, this also would be the area that would convert into a bed. And I'll just show you real quick, I'm sure some people are interested to see how this works into a bed. It's relatively simple. Uh, it's the same cabinet here I was showing you before. You know, it becomes the base. You're gonna sleep, you're gonna sleep across here. Um, you can actually slide these seats up close to the bed so it gives you a little more elbow room even though the bed's a little bit narrow that provides you a little more elbow room and then you can adjust the seats up and down to match the height of the bed. This back cushion here is kind of integral to the bed. It's got a hard back on it. And the first thing we need to do is just switch this around. There's a little slot that that drops into that hold it in place. And then this cushion just simply goes across here like that. And it's for sleeping cross coach for one person. And 
parts to put it back together, just reverse it. So this is for seating for two. Um, the driver's seat swivels, of course. This table pops up. And then it allows you to have um, you know, a place for dining or you know, for your laptop. One of the things that people uh, that we talk to about this product uh, like is, is they're very familiar with a company called Ram Mount. And Ram Mount makes these tracks and they make accessories that go in tracks like this. We have these tracks basically all over this coach. They're underneath the overheads here and over there and here and in the back and you can buy all kinds of accessories to hold an iPad or uh, a GoPro or any of those kind of uh, cameras things like that so you can you can uh, use this area uh, in the evening if you want to watch a movie or something on your iPad you can do that but uh, a lot of people work from their vans these days so then they want to get on uh, social media or whatever allows them to do that as well we don't have a TV in here this motorhome uh, is actually quite a bit different than than most most RVs and that you know we're not looking people aren't looking at this thing uh, there to be really to uh, you know be entertained inside the coach they're gonna be active outdoors so TVs were something that uh, people said we don't want a TV in here so no TV but uh, lots of places to use uh, tablets and laptops and things like that let's talk about uh, the interior construction for a minute um, you know, this is going to be a coach that people are going to take off the road, off the grid. They're going to go as far away from, from uh, the road as they can get in this product. So we need to make sure that it's very durable for them. So all of the cabinets uh, are faced with a high pressure laminate. So this is actually a, a countertop material. This is a countertop material. This is countertop material. So all of this is, is rigid with, with plywood behind it so that, uh, you know, it's going to hold up well for the life of your, your van, your Rebel. And in here, you'll notice that all of the cabinets have a welded aluminum framework. Also, to make sure that the cabinets can, can stay rigid uh, in some pretty severe environments. This is your control center here. Um, this is the controls for the bed. You can see that. It's got a little key lock on it, so basically, so uh, you can make sure the kids aren't playing with it uh, if you don't want them to. And then you have your thermostat. This is your, your uh, hydronic heating system, which is, runs off of diesel fuel. So basically, um, as long as you have fuel in your fuel tank, you can have hot water for a shower or you can have heat for your coach. Uh, um, and there, it runs the, that, uh, through a, a glycol mixture, which is basically like antifreeze, goes through the various uh, radiators in different spots in the coach to heat the coach. There's little fans behind those radiators. Uh, and also heats, heats your hot water. So there you can see hot water there, furnace, and that's the system on and off. And then you can control the fan speed, high or low as well. This is your solar charge controller with 200 watts on the roof. It's expandable, you know, there's not a lot of room left on the roof, uh, but you could add another, another panel up there, probably another 80 watt panel. And then of course you can use um, exterior panels as well to go up to 500 watts and the system is preset for that. We really like these insulated acrylic windows. Uh, for this product because they do a very good job of keeping the heat and the cold out of the coach and they're full open So if you're in a place where you're not worried about bugs and you just want the wind to go through You know you have that wide open which is really nice if you are worried about bugs you can bring that down if you want a little privacy And you still want to let some air in you can do that which I like a lot or if you want full blackout Just pull it up like that and that will make it nice and dark inside here so, pretty cool windows. Um, back in the galley area here, it's pretty straightforward. It's a small, very compact galley um, with three drawers, a compressor refrigerator. This, this refrigerator runs off of 12 volts. There's a little freezer in there. Um, um, it'll run off the batteries for, for days, uh, probably more than two days. We have three AGM uh, Group 31 batteries in here that will kind of power everything. This is an induction cooktop, single burner cooktop. Uh, they're pre actually pretty efficient um, you know they'll boil water uh, you know very quickly uh, we did a test with even just one of the batteries where we we boiled uh, a pot of water for spaghetti uh, you know kind of a simple test um, and then um, we simmered that water for for seven hours before the battery was was uh, 
uh, depleted. So that, that's with one battery. So they, this will work very well in this situation. We provide the coach with three Group 31 AGM batteries, which is I think about 315 uh, amp hours of, of, uh, of power. Um, and that's really sufficient for what you're trying to do in this coach for all of your 12 volt components and for uh, you know the typical off-the-grid use. Uh, the batteries are you know basically bulletproof. You don't have to worry about anything to do with them. They can be mounted sideways or upside down or whatever. They're they're a glass mat battery, so they're really appropriate for this application. Little little closet here with adjustable shelves. And then this is cool here. Um, this is something that we, we learned from our customers. Uh, the people that we, you know, we talked a lot to customers or about this product. We had a mixture. We had, you know, about half the folks said, I don't want a bathroom. And which sounds strange to for an RV, but they said, you know, they want storage. It's more important than a bathroom. So what we provided here was basically um, all the flexibility that you could want in this, this kind of a situation is that you have a closet and you can use it with shelves. These are bamboo shelves. Mm -hmm. Or you can take the shelves out and use it for hanging. Or you can take some of the shelves out and then you have a bathroom. And of course, it's also a shower. There's a shower pan in the bottom. So as a closet, you know, we think it provides an additional benefit is that you could, you could hang wet clothes in here. Let's say you go skiing and you've got some wet clothes. You could hang them in here um, and, and, and run this little fan here. And draw air through there and then draw heated air from the coach. And, and, and exhaust that, that moist air through the top and, and help to dry your clothes as well. Here's another one of those little ram mounts. Yes, they're everywhere. And it comes uh, standard with, this is a Max Air, or uh, I'm sorry, this, this fan here. Whoops, that was me. <laughs> I bumped into the, uh, bumped into the macerator, so, Basically, and this is something interesting about this coach for the sink, this is how you're going to drain the sink. You're going to run this macerator pump, um, and that will drain the water. The reason that we have that in here is, again, for that winter usage. We didn't want any plumbing on the outside, uh, so we're actually running the water lines uh, through the floor, um, and we have you know limited space for plumbing, so we're using a macerator here to move the water from the, from the drain uh, to the gray water tank, which is also heated. And let's see. I think that's kind of it. Most of the major features. I did want to point out something on the front here, the radio that comes with this. Uh, this is on all of the Rebels. But this is an exclusive uh, nine inch screen that we put on. It has a uh, GPS and everything built into it. But one of the things that people really like is this, is the camera that we have on here. It's high definition. So here you can see uh, the normal view. We have the doors open back there. But we can go to horizon view and here you can see the whole uh, dealership here at Seagrens from the side. This is really handy when you're driving because you, you know, really protects you from the blind spots. You, you see any, any car that approaches on either corner, you can see them uh, long before uh, they, they really get into your blind spot. And then that, if, they're not, if they're not visible on this camera, you're going to be able to see them in, from the mirrors. So it really provides a secure driving. But other feature that we have is we know people are going to be putting you know some pretty expensive bikes on the back and on occasion or other things so they're going to, going to want to see what's down at their hitch and that's the zoom feature that takes you that's the hitch down there so now you're zoomed in you can see if your bikes are securely latched and if something's wobbling around or something that you're carrying back there you can see that very easily with this camera system so set up pretty well for for this product that's about it for the rebel today and uh, thank you for spending some time with me.